the flagship development is clearly the oil and gas support hub that we would like to build at the port of Saldana, and it encapsulates three large projects. The first of these is um, the creation of an offshore supply base. Um, it's marked on your slides as OSSB, and that offshore supply base is a facility that is meant to service the offshore um, oil and gas exploration facilities uh, you know, out, uh, you know, out in the Atlantic. The services in this facility are going to include a range of aspects such as uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the supply of those vessels, any kind of fabrication that needs to be done and taken through to those vessels, things like crew change. So this is basically a land base that then forms a logistic supply platform to all the exploration that's going out in the open ocean. Um, we find that there's a very strong business case for this, and we are hoping that, uh, you know, of the many tenders that have now applied for the concession, uh, you know, that within the short space of time and by the end of uh, uh, this year being roughly December, we should be identifying a prospective candidate. The other two big construction projects, ladies and gentlemen, is the construction of a, a new berth, but 205, which is a deep water berth for uh, the repair of rigs in the port of Saldana, and also the extension of the mosque as key uh, that you see marked on the slide that will then indicate, uh, uh, you know, a different facility for the service of a different kind of rig, being a smaller version and uh, what people in the market call a jack-up rig. In order for us to attract a suitable uh, investor into this area, we would want to get somebody who would be a first mover in this area. When the market picks up again, we will then uh, allow this, uh, uh, this operator to then consolidate and increase those service offerings going forward. You know, ladies and gentlemen, the market changes much quicker than we can build ports. And as a result, we are hoping that uh, the prize for the first taker is going to be that flexibility that we afford in terms of risk. When the market turns, whoever is successful and whoever is brave enough to go into this area is clearly going to be a winner. So we have left it very open and very flexible. Initially, we are going to be operating this facility roughly as an MPT, a multi-purpose terminal and we are going to allow the terminal operator then to go into a range of uh, types of activities that would then create value. When the true demand for an offshore supply base comes online, this uh, operator is going to be very well positioned uh, you know, uh, you know, for the offshore supply base.